Welcome to your training as the new incident commander for the Munich Emergency Services. I am your supervisor, and I will be accompanying you throughout Emergency 5. your first mission, a fire at a construction site. Your objectives are shown in the task list. Pay attention to this list and you'll always know what to do. To take a closer look at the action, you can use the mouse wheel to zoom the camera in and out. When you want to pan the camera left or right, simply hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse from side to side. Good, we need a heavy rescue vehicle with firefighters. To do this, we need to head to the emergency base and click on the symbol of a fire truck. Select the heavy rescue vehicle. Now bring the heavy rescue vehicle into the mission area. First click on the send icon and then right click in the highlighted area in the mission area. Aye aye sir. Well done, in the heavy rescue vehicle, there is a standard crew of firefighters. Let's get them out. To do this, first left click to select the vehicle. Await orders. Now click on the flashing exit button in the selected heavy rescue vehicles action list. Yes, sir. Good. To be able to put out fires, a firefighter needs to have a fire hose. Select one of the firefighters with the left mouse button. What's up? Now click on the flashing fire hose button in the selected firefighter's act. Okay. Now take a look at the burning pallet and at the objects near the blaze. All the objects you can cool or extinguish with your firefighter are highlighted. Right click on the burning pallet. The firefighter will automatically connect yes. his hose to a fire hydrant no and problem. start to douse the area. A tip, often cooling the objects near a fire is as important as tackling the blaze itself. This prevents the flames from spreading. Now equip another firefighter with a fire hose. I'm ready. Count right me in. Right the barrels near the blazing pallet to cool them. The firefighter will then automatically perform the action. Right away. Excellent. You've put out the fire. Now get your firefighters back in the heavy rescue vehicle. 
An easy way to do this is to hold down the left mouse button and drag a box around all your firefighters. Await orders. You have also selected the heavy rescue vehicle. Drag yes. Good. Okay. And now, right click the heavy rescue vehicle. Understood. Perfect. By the way, there's just been a traffic accident in the mission area. You'd better familiarize yourself with the overview map in the bottom left. Your heavy rescue vehicle and the scene of the accident are both shown on your map. If you click the accident marked on the map, the camera will snap to it. Try it out. Obviously, you can move the camera around the scene yourself. Simply move the cursor to the edge of the screen and the camera will shift in the corresponding direction. Holding down the shift key will make it scroll faster. Give it a try. Okay, the driver is injured and trapped inside his vehicle. You'll need to free him from the wreck with the hydraulic cutters. Get your heavy rescue vehicle to the scene. Left click to select it, and then right click the highlighted area to send it to the accident. Yes. Send the heavy rescue vehicle to the highlighted section of the mission area. Yes, okay. Now let's get your firefighters out and give one of them the hydraulic cutters. Got it. Yes, okay, okay. Okay, now you can free the injured driver from the vehicle. Right click the wreckage. Can do. Great. The driver is injured and desperately needs a doctor. Bring the emergency doctor. All right. Consider it done. Good. Now select the emergency doctor and then right click the injured driver. The doctor will examine the patient, make a diagnosis, and treat him. Yes. Okay. Consider it done. <laughs>